Hey guys, it's Gwyneth and welcome back to my channel. Today we are just doing a get ready with me. I actually have to be somewhere really soon, um, so hopefully I can get ready fast enough. It's game day, we are playing Auburn, and I thought it'd be cool just to do a little get ready with me. It is our maroon out game, so I think I'm gonna do like maroon eyeshadow and stuff like that to make it all cutesy. Let's go ahead and do this. I know I'm gonna prime with the Benefit Professional Primer. Okay, now for foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. I'm in the shade Light Neutral. Then I'm just taking my Crown Artiste brush because this isn't the, this is probably like medium coverage. And I really didn't put that much on, so instead of using a beauty blender, I'm gonna use this just to have a little bit better coverage. Taking the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey, and fill the eyes. I'm just going to take this little sample of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. And this is my darkest concealer, so I'm going to try to conceal it a little bit. I mean, they're really high bombs, you know, so those get tricky to conceal. Like, concealer works well with acne if it's just redness, but if it's like high bombs, like that texture is still going to show. But... I think that helped a little bit. Now we're gonna set the face. I'm taking the Cody Airspun powder in Naturally Neutral. I'm taking this e.l.f. Professional powder brush, and I like it because it's really tiny. I'm going to take the Laura Geller Baked Color and Contour Sunset Glow Bronze Highlight and Blush. And I'm going to first go into this blush right here. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Stippling Brush and just work a little bit. I'm not a huge blush fan, so I don't go very heavy with it. Bronzer. I'm going to take this Elf Professional Total Face Brush and I'm going into this bronzer right here. If you've been watching me for a while, you know this is one of my favorite bronzers. I've been doing makeup for a decent amount of time, and I still always do the fishy lips when I do bronzer. I don't know why. It's almost like it's just habit at this point. And it just makes it so much easier to know you're placing the product even on both sides. So I feel like if I guessed, like, one would be higher than the other. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more bronzer than usual because I think I'm going to have my hair in a ponytail. So when I do ponytails, my face actually looks like more round. So I really want to create that sharp, sunken in face. We're going to really cut that jawline. And then get down in here. It's going to exaggerate that jawline as well, make it look more like pushed out. And then let's just go ahead. Let's really hit those temples. We're just trying to give like extra dimension to the face. For highlighter, I'm going to do, I'm gonna take the Ofra highlighter in Beverly Hills. And usually I just go for the light shade, but let's just mix it all together this time. So then I'm just doing circular motions because I really want that to disperse a little bit better. I'm also gonna take that setting brush and just kind of Soften that down. I'm just gonna do the tiniest bit on my nose. Now, I'm not really trying to contour my nose. I said this a few times. Is I just want to bring the outer warmth like into the center of my face too, so my face looks more balanced. 
There is a hair on my lip. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. No, I didn't. There's more. The two things I'm going to be using is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar and the Balm Meat Matrimony Palette. So I think I'm going to start with the Meat Matte Palette and I'm going to take this shade right here, Matte Lynn, and just set my eyes with that. The Meat Matte Lopez and taking that fluffy crease brush, that's going to be our transition shade. shade in the Too Faced palette, the Milk Chocolate with the same brush, and work that in there as well, kind of focusing it more on the outside and then pulling it in. I'm just going to take this Royal and Lang Nickel Flat Brush, I'm going to go into this shade right here, Creme Brulee, and we're going to take the Milani and Make It Last Setting Spray and hit that. My BMX 430 brush. Now I'm going to take that maroon shade from the Meat Matrimony palette right here. And this is just a tapered eyeshadow brush. We're going to work that right on the outside. Blend those outer edges. Now let's work on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take, it's just this little Royal and Lang nickel brush. Clean, 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 clean. Okay. And basically the same steps, the matte Lopez, we're gonna run all the way underneath. Then the milk chocolate I'm gonna take and run that all the way underneath as well. I'm going to take that creme brulee shade and I am just going to work that right in the inner part of the eye. We're going to take that maroon shade from this palette, uh, Matte Kumar, and we're just going to keep that right on the outer edge of the eye. And we're going to connect it up with the maroon on the top. Then I'm going to take my pinky. And I'm going to go into the shade right here, uh, Champagne Truffle, and just put that in my inner corner. Eyeliner, I'm taking the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner, it's just in black. Now we're going to put on some mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Urban Decay All Nighter. Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Intense Precision Waterproof Eyeliner. The shade is precision. Excuse me. And we're going to line the lower lash line. MAC Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Lingering. Then I'm going to take this Ulta brow tint in the shade medium and just set my brows with that. This is actually a little bit light for my eyebrows, but I don't mind. I don't think it looks too weird because my, I'm going to take that spoolie and spool it out. I don't think it looks too weird because my eyebrows are darker than my natural hair color. So I feel like it works out. If it's a little bit too light, it doesn't look weird. Decided it's kind of a little bit windy outside, so instead of wearing like lipstick, I think I'm just gonna wear my chapstick. All right, and the last step is we are gonna set our makeup, and I'm using the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I'm gonna take that beauty blender and just push all of that in. Okay, so I just took my hair out of my bun. Now I'm gonna spray some Chi Thermal Guard in my hair. And now I'm just going to brush my hair out. So one, because it needs to be brushed, and two, that's going to make the heat protectant 
get distributed through your hair evenly so you actually use like less product this way i'm sorry for like the kind of weird setup i don't have time to make it like a better setup to where you're like higher and then i went ahead and changed into my outfit usually we dress cuter for games but it is our marina games and so we actually like buy these marina shirts so like everyone will be wearing it well that's why i'm in a t-shirt i don't usually wear t-shirts to football games i usually wear like a dress or something so now i'm gonna do quick curling so i'm gonna flip all my hair over and curl in big sections since it's going in a ponytail because when you flip your hair over like this and curl it you're really only curling the ends but since my hair i want it in a curly ponytail that's fine so i'm gonna take big sections it's really hot in here but anyways, I'll show my outfit to you in a second, but I'm just wearing jeans, my cowgirl boots, and my t-shirt. And then we have like our 12 man towels that we like swing around at the game. And so I usually tuck mine into my boots so I don't have to carry it. Okay, so not the best curls, as you can see, they're all kind of in the bottom and they're really crazy curls, like they're not super cute, but we're going to leave that there. Let's go ahead and turn off that curler so I don't forget. And now, um, if y'all don't know, I like to let my hair, my curls curl, curl cool for a little bit. So while that is cooling, we're going to put some dry shampoo. I'm just using the Batiste dry shampoo. It's like the leopard one. And let's Okay, so that's getting nice and judged up. Okay, so now my curls are cooled down. We're gonna run our fingers through. Like I say, we're gonna run our fingers like through my hair. Okay. And now they're all loose and I will have it like up in a ponytail, but maybe I made them too loose. We shall see. So then we're gonna flip hair over and I just run my fingers like this and just rub my scalp, get all that dry shampoo out of there. So now I'm gonna do just a little twist in my hair. And then just find the little twisted ends and untwist them from your hair. Then we have this little thing going on. So I'm going to take, I like to pull some hair from around my face down. And then I'm going to take, this is off, but it's still hot. So I'm just going to curl that a little bit of wave around the face. Okay, gosh, this is so bumpy and crazy. Now some hairspray, and we're just going to, I just scrunch that up. Okay, so hair is done. I'm going to put in these earrings. They're just some maroon Kendra's. I wonder if there's going to be people who like actually maroon out, like they paint all their skin maroon and get crazy. At least that's my definition of crazy. 
necklace ah, that Christopher got me. If y'all are ever curious what this necklace is, <laughs> it's um, a heartbeat. And Chris got it for me for our two year anniversary. All right, guys, so that is it with the hair. Right, so we have a messy room going on here, but this is just the outfit, the t-shirt I have to wear. And then my finished hair, which I think came out pretty good because I did it in like five minutes. <laughs> Um, then we have my boots and my little Aggie towel. So, that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you leave uh, a like and a comment down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!